gallon of sweat in a humid room dubbed the torture chamber by some is what one might expect from a boot camp challenge but it's in a yoga class yeah that's right we uh, take a look at the growing bikram yoga trend and find out why men in particular are exchanging their weights for the mountain pose Jittering muscles and backward bends you never thought possible performed in a 42 degree room has, believe it or not, become a treasured daily routine for many Indonesian yogis looking to up the ante. It's called Bikram Yoga, a series of 26 scientifically tailored postures that have revolutionized the way many, including men, view the practice of yoga. When you say yoga, the stereotype is ah, yoga is a gentle, breathing, meditating exercise. So a lot of men feel like intimidating to come to class because I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and if they know some kind of yoga position, they also feel like intimidated because of all the posture. They feel like they don't have the flexibility to do those kind of things. But the interesting thing about the Bikram Yoga, with the heat, it really help open up the body. Moni Suryani, the founder of Yoga at 42, brought Bikram to Indonesia almost 10 years ago. She admits that the heated practice doesn't sound appealing at first, but the growth of her business, which now boasts six studios, is a testament to the numerous and popular benefits the discipline brings. You cannot just pumping on weight, but you have to stretch your muscle as well to gain the flexibility of focus. That's why a lot of uh, professional sports like David Beckham, Andy Murray, uh, Karim Abdul-Jabbar, a lot of NBA, NFL players, they use Bikram Yoga as part of their routine and practice for their professional sports. Long-time Bikram devotee, British national John Arnold, has been practicing at Suryani's Kamang Studios for almost 10 years. My wife and eldest son were already into it and they threw down the challenge that uh, I would never be able to do something as challenging as Bikram Yoga. So that's all I needed to incentivize myself. Even at a relatively advanced age, I found that my body was still capable of doing things that it had not done before. The popularity of yoga among men, including Bikram, comes as a welcome relief for many health professionals who too often tend to injuries caused by ill-advised weights training. So especially if, uh, if a patient, if I notice that they have a good muscle tone and then their tendency is working a lot in front of computer and then spend hours in the, in the car and in the traffic and then I send a patient to do yoga because yoga is um, kind of uh, maintain your flexibility, uh, the muscle uh, flexibility and then towards that and then keep your spine flexible. There are some traditional yoga practitioners who aren't fans of the Bikram style or what they describe as an extreme practice, arguing that it goes against the so-called purpose of yoga, which is to relax the sympathetic nervous system. This type of relaxation, they say, can prove difficult when you are sweating it out in unsavourily hot conditions. But for Moni Suryani, who single-handedly introduced Bikram to Indonesia, the proof lies within her league of returning students. These days, some participants arrive up to 45 minutes before a class to reserve their place in what some may call a torture chamber, but what they call the best 90 minutes of their day.